New at 5.30, construction continues on a new hotel in Amherst despite heavy lobbying against it. And now there's a lawsuit related to this project. The Lord Amherst Hotel would sit at 5000 Main Street in Amherst. News Force Dave Graber is at the hotel site where the developer is now suing a town body. This project behind me, the Lord Amherst Hotel, has been under construction for years. It's been held back by financing, by back and forth with the town's economic development agency, and most recently, a lawsuit, which is calling the board into question for conflict of interests and possible ethics violations. Tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars has been spent on trying to prevent the Lord Amherst Hotel from coming to fruition. Much of it started in 2012 with this woman, Michelle Marconi, at the helm of the opposition. It's inappropriate in a place like Snyder. She's now back at the center of the controversy, except now she's a member of the IDA, the town's economic development arm. The IDA is being sued by the property's developer, Iscolo, which issues a strong opinion of its case. The lawsuit shows Marconi has long stood in opposition to the project, going as far back as December 2012 when she said she opposed any and all financial assistance. Marconi describes herself as not the average Snyder housewife, and she picked off one of the owners of Iscolo, writing in a letter to him that the Lord Amherst Hotel project would earn him a place in the Hall of Shame. Marconi even created a Facebook page in opposition to the redevelopment, writing in one entry that she, quote, hates those guys at Iscolo, and that it felt mighty good when the development hit a setback. There was a lot of um, controversy surrounding it. Former two-term Amherst Town board member Guy Marlette appointed Marconi to the IDA. He said he's surprised that she went against the IDA's legal opinion that she recused herself from any decisions regarding the project. You know, a lot of times you have to take your own personal feelings out of the equation and do what is legally right and in the best interest of the town. As of this week, the AIDA board had yet to answer to the lawsuit and its members are declining all requests for comment. Meanwhile, construction continues here along Main Street in the town of Amherst, a highly visible example of development frustration with little end in sight. Reporting from Amherst, Dave Graber, News 4.